I'm Amy Lemakaula from Poston Jones. I'm doing grade 12A at Poston Jones High School. I chose maritime just because I love traveling and I love I love the sea, ocean, and I love to deal with new people, try new stuff, and uh, I love trying new things. When I was in grade uh, nine, I was interested in all those, like in natural science stuff that talks about sea, traveling, all those tourism things. No, I love, as far as I can remember, I love the sea very much, and since I'm staying here by, by Mtumban, so we like go fishing, swim, and my parents, they don't mind because I'm thinking to go study for navigator at the University of Durban or CPUT okay. University, but study navigator. Uh, owning my own vessel, my own company. Um, I'm Yueli Isan, my name is Gangezwe. I'm from here in PSJ. So I decided to take maritime because I've always wanted to do something different. And as we grow up, we always had people say we want to be a doctor and dun, 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 dun. So I just wanted something different. And once I heard that here in PSJ, they do maritime. So I was like, let me take the subject. I searched about this subject and I fell in love with it. I'm interested in law, maritime law, and also in diving, but I can't swim. In uh, University of Deppen. Uh, I'm Avim Kozil, uh, doing grade 12. My friend, one of my friends in my village is once introduced me about maritime. He was doing maritime in East London. Uh, I see my future as uh, one of the navigators. Uh, one of the? Navigators. Navigators. Uh, well. Yes. Mm. Okay. And yeah. how do you, what are you planning to do next year? Mm. I already applied in DUT, uh, really working hard to to achieve and get. Uh, I really like to have my own vessel and be my own boss. Uh, yeah. Um, I wanna do a lot of things in maritime, yes? not only law and stuff, but I wanna be exposed to many things there. Mm, type of ships. Uh, uh, I saw some type of ships that I love. Okay. Yeah, one of the main, one of the ships that have a great main purpose of what their job do, like dredger, mm. uh, is chart work. Uh, uh, still, like calculations of uh, that are uh, challenging calculations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, calculations of H O four heavy fuel oil, yeah, okay. charter cost, yeah, little bit still confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what I don't like about this maritime, like it's very difficult for me, is uh, when you're calculating uh, voyage voyage calculations, is I don't understand them. Like they are not easy to understand if you don't know the formula. Is I like uh, quantization and uh, insurances. Yes, insurance insurances. Those are the ones that are most interesting to you as well. Yeah, they're interesting. Okay. Um, in nautical science, it's the chart work. Is okay. All right, and maritime economics. Maritime, not really. It's not that hard, but if you practice and yeah. I would say um, he or she must love the subject first so that he or she can be able to teach the learners who are interested in it. I think when you do something that you are in love with, you do it perfectly than when you do something that you don't like. Yes. Uh, my name is Awetu, my surname is Mge. I am a maritime student in Post St. John's High and I am doing grade 12. Oh, mostly my uncle influenced me in taking the maritime studies because at home all of them did life science and geography and my mom did accounting. So he said that he persuaded me to, into doing maritime because he thought that it was something different and it was something that I loved doing because together we would go to we would go fishing together. So I chose maritime because 
I am more passionate about the animal sector part of the maritime industry. I feel, just feel like mar, uh, maritime animals are neglected most of the time. We only talk about ships and uh, all of the stuff. Next year, I would like to study aquaculture, which is a study of... So aquaculture is a study where we where a person is taught how to breed and raise or how to breed and raise uh, aqua, aqua aquatic plants and fish and seashells and everything that involves uh, fishing. Yes, it's more like water farming. Yeah. Uh, I started learning about it uh, last year in grade 11 because I was reading a book. I forgot what the book was called, but I was learning how this woman was raising fish and how she was selling fish to restaurants in order to get money and how she was just raising them and releasing them to the sea when they are much older. Yes. I haven't applied yet because I was mostly disappointed about my June results, but hopefully my uh, term four results will be better than June. But I have applied for education in other universities because I'm more interested in, and also interested in English. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for sure, aquaculture, I would study aquaculture at uh, I think in UK, UK Zealand they also offer uh, aquaculture studies and also in what's that other school? Stellenbosch University, yes. I, I see myself as a writer. Yes, I see myself as a poetry writer since I do write poetry. I am Indi Bilekele from PHA. I am doing grade 12. Since I was bullied in grade 7, so I thought why not maritime since in grade nine my principal suggested that i choose maritime to prove to boys that not only boys do maritime and go to sea but even disabled people do it okay so you have a disability yes i'm thinking of doing marine journalist marine journalism i haven't applied because my results were bad in June. So I hope my results will be good so I can apply. But my first interest in university is marine journalism. Yes. Because marine journalism or acting. Okay, nice. Yes. I see myself like traveling the world and being an actress. It's maritime economics for me is very uh, easy for someone who studies hard and is passionate about the subject. For example, me, I am would say I, I work very fairly when it comes to my time. And not sciences, when it comes to it, you just have to be a person who's determined. The hard parts are the calculations, remembering how the calculations are and the methods and everything because you don't have a formula sheet when you go to exams. And the other thing is cold racks, remembering all the rules of the sea and how to apply them. Yeah, that's difficult too. Okay. In nautical science, uh, planning, like chart work is so difficult. Okay. And in maritime, I found like the part of weather, fishing, that is interesting for me. Okay, I would advise a teacher to be kind to students and make sure that you make them feel comfortable around the subject. And as a teacher, you should make sure that they go on road trips to see the ports and how they work so that they could also see what they are being taught in class and make and fight for them to go to make sure that they all go, not only few are being picked to go, they must all go because they are all doing the subject. Yes, we did in grade 10, but they, were, they only chose two, which was the only, the two top achieved, uh, achievers of the school to see the East London port. And this year, we had an opportunity to attend a maritime winter school in the Mecha, and we we're seeing the maritime activities being done there. Okay, did everyone get to go on No, program? only five. Okay. Yes. Uh, no. You need, mostly you need uh, equipments and instruments and charts. Here at school, we kind of lagged on charts, but we were uh, sponsored by 
transnet by the charts yes okay. you really need charts and instruments yeah so make sure the kids are okay with the may not the kid to be left out of the thing and pass on then must make sure that all kids if the if the kids make sure all the kids are top achievers like no there must not be kids like two kids who are top achievers mm -hmm. all of them must be kind patient with the kid because some take long to understand the topic my name is Fungi. my surname is Jose, and i'm doing grade 12 in Boston jones high school oh my niece he, who is in University of Johannesburg now introduces they introduced this subject to me at home. We were we were chatting about this um, since I was in grade nine, and I couldn't know what which subject I should choose. And when we have this conversation, and she explains to, she explains to me about maritime and how we how things going there and what are we learning there uh, and the importance of maritime economics because yeah, about the trade of in maritime then he chatted, chatted then and I decided that this this subject is suitable for me because I want to pursue my my career in all seagoing careers. One, I want to do it want to be um, maritime law, no, I'm not yet applied. No. Okay. My name is Asabela Kenya. I'm doing grade of A. I'm doing maritime in PSJ High School. Maritime in nautical sciences are complex, complex, complex subjects, and there are many job opportunities. Of, I'm thinking, oh. I think that I'm going to take maritime law, but I'm not quite sure because of my results. Okay. DUT or CPUT or in maritime economies. I find calculations interesting, but in nautical sciences, rather plotting sheet, it's very hard. Okay. Nature to work. Uh, our teacher is trying his best, and I think I'm going to score it if I can put my focus on what he is always telling us. The topic that I am quite that is quite difficult for me in political science it is when we are doing radar plotting, chat work, and that is the topic that is giving me a hard time. But in maritime. Oh, Okay. There's no subject that is given on. I said the subject that I love the most, the topic that I love the most in maritime, which is the impact of maritime operations in shipping. I think in the coming years, they will be more developed and we're going to have more advanced equipment about how to do it, radar plotting and chart work. And we, I think it's going to be easy for, for the learners uh, that are coming because I, I might not say that uh, it is because of the shortage of, equip, of equipment. I'm not sure about that because we've got, we've got everything that we need to in. I, I'm keep, I will keep failing, uh, failing to do it, chat to work. I don't know why. I think our teachers should just invest more time than call us in Saturday classes and Sunday classes. Maybe we could improve a lot. Okay. Uh, that right. Great. Anything else you'd like to say or ask me or anything like that? Yes. Uh, All right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming.